Hi, 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 hi. <laughs> nice to see you once again. If you are coming to my channel for the first time, if, it's this, if this is your first time of coming to this channel, please, I say, God bless you. You're welcome. I welcome you into this great channel, the channel of truth. And if you are a lover of truth, please go ahead and subscribe, join, and be the part be the partaker of of the of the of the good thing that is happening in the world be a good news not a bad a bad news so if you love truth just go ahead, ahead and subscribe and touch that bell so that you'll be able to receive it anytime i make a new video a new video you will always receive it anywhere you are and be a blessing to other people all right so i'm here to tell you something now about what god said the time that the world will be destroyed the exact time, date, the time that God will destroy the earth, that the earth, this earth you are living in. Okay, I'm taking you now to the word of God straight away. So I want to open your eyes, the date, the exact date that this world will be destroyed. I'm reading, I'm reading now right now the book of Genesis chapter 8. Genesis chapter 8, verse, Genesis chapter 8, verse 22. I remember I said to you the days that this earth will be destroyed. While the earth remains, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, winter and summer, and day and night shall not cease. I read again. While the earth remains, seed, seed, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, winter and summer, and day and night shall not cease. Okay, so remember. The, day, the, the days of, of Noah, God is busy warning the whole world, preaching to the whole world through his servant Noah, telling them to repent that the, 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 the great day of the Lord is at hand. He was warning the people, telling them to repent from their wicked ways, to change from their evil ways and turn to the Lord, to forsake wickedness and say, and say, and, and, and say yes to righteousness. The righteous Noah was busy preaching to the wicked world during his time, during his days, telling the people to change, to turn around, to turn around from their wicked ways, to forsake their evil ways, they called him a foolish man. They called him a stupid man. They, 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 they said all kinds of things against him. He keep on preaching and saying what God said and keep on building the ark. He keep on building the ark that God commanded him to build. As he's building, he's preaching. As he's building, he's preaching. He's warning the same way I'm doing today. I'm preaching, I am warning. I'm preaching, I am doing what God said that I should do because this great day of the Lord is at hand. So, during the time God, uh, after Noah finished building the ark, God said, okay, take everything created, two, two, every animal, every piece of the, of the, of the faith, two, two, put them in the ark. After that, Noah pick, uh, Noah did as God commanded him. And, put, and 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 pick out the animals, all the beasts of the of the of the, of the earth, uh, to to according to how God commanded him. After that, God told him to he enter inside the, the boat, inside the ark with his family. God said, "Shut up the ark." The ark was shut, and behold, the rain began to the, 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 the rain descended, hit the earth big time, swallow up the world of the wicked, the world of 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 evil, the word of of, of immoral, 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 the word of the, of the, of the of the of the of the fake pastors, the word of blood suckers, the word of those that hated good. This is how God end their world. The world of the wicked was destroyed, and Noah, the righteous preacher, and his family was saved. So after that, God said something. God said that He will not destroy the world again. Remember, God did not destroy. God did not bring the whole world to an end. He did not bring the whole world to an end because he destroyed the wicked. He destroyed the world of the, of the wicked. He destroyed the world of, 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 of the liars. He destroyed the world of the immorals. He destroyed the world of, of the world of the killers. He destroyed the world of, of, of fake pastors and bishops. He destroyed the, wo the, the world, the world of the, of, the, of the people that derive joy in the works of of unrighteousness in the work of darkness that 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 is in love with evil with Satan with with with, with evil God destroyed their world their world 
and they saved the world, the world of the righteous, of the righteous, the world of Noah and his family. He saved them and saved the life of the animal that Noah picked and put in the ark, according to what God said to him. God said, okay, that he will not destroy the world again. That what will happen is, whatsoever a man sow, that he will reap. This is what God said. God said that whatsoever a man sow, that he will reap. That he is not going to destroy the world again. He did it during the time of Noah. Noah, Noah was busy sowing righteousness and he reaped righteousness. He reaped the mercy of God. He, he is busy doing the right thing and he received the reward of doing the right thing. The people that is also sowing evil, doing the wrong thing, they receive the reward of sowing evil. They receive the wrong thing. They receive death. They receive a, a, a pain. They receive destruction that was prepared for them. They are not sowing good because if they are sowing good like Noah or if they have heeded the voice of Noah, they wouldn't have been, God wouldn't have been angry and destroy their world and, 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 and bring them and, and, and destroy their world. See, for you to see the, the judgment of God, God can never destroy the wicked together with the righteous. God can never destroy the, the righteous with the wicked. He, he always separates. He always separates. I want to tell you something. Anything that you are sowing, anything that you are sowing, you are going to reap. You must reap. And this is the right time. God said here, why the earth remains seed time and harvest. Seed time and harvest. What what they are sowing? Seed time and harvest. What you sow, you will harvest it. Cold and heat. Cold and heat. Winter and summer and day and night shall not cease. So it's still the same thing that is controlling the whole world. From the foundation of the world, what's controlling this world is sowing and reaping. The, the, the law of sowing, the law of sowing is what is controlling the world. So God said again now that it's time for him to destroy the world of the wicked, the world of the of, of the evil ones, the world of, of, of darkness, the world of those that sin romance with evil, with Satan. It's time for God to destroy them again. And God is also, God said that the life of the righteous, not even one hair will be removed. If you are sowing good, you will reap good now. If you are sowing evil, evil is soaking to as men that is sowing evil. The anything you give to the earth is what the earth will give to you in return. Anything you are putting, you are giving the earth where you are, the earth you are matching, you are matching your leg that, that's carry you, that you're matching your 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 your, 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 your feet that carry you. Anything that you give the earth that you are putting, you are giving the earth that are putting down. In the earth is what the earth will give you in hundred folds. Let us see the book. I want to take you now to the book of Revelation. I want to show you something in the book of Revelation. Revelation, Revelation chapter 11. Revelation chapter 11 from verse 17. I want to read for you to understand. Revelation chapter 11 verse 17. We give you thanks. We give you thanks, O Lord God Almighty. The one who is and who was and who is to come, because you have taken your great power and reign. The nations were angry and your wrath has come. The nations were angry and your and your wrath has come. And the time of the dead, and the time of the dead that they should be judged. And that you should reward your servants, the prophets and the saints, and those who fear your name, small and great, and you should destroy those who destroy the earth. It's time for God to reward all the faithful servants of God, all the faithful children of God, all those that fear God, both small and great, both tall and short, both white and black, both every uh, 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 nation, anywhere you are. It's time for God to reward every man according to your works and according to the fruit of your doing. If you are doing good, you good, I decree good, soaking you now. I see good soaking your life. If you are doing good, I see good soaking you. I see good 
feeding your life. If you are doing evil, I see evil soaking you now. I see you being soaked, being filled, being, 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 being surrounded with evil. So God said something, and it's time for God to destroy those who destroy the earth. But this time around is fire. God said that it's not going to use use water anymore. But this time is fire. The fire of his judgment will, will eat up the wicked now. The heat, the fire of his judgment, his judgment will descend like fire, like a, a, a liquid fire that we that we consume, that we melt, that we we burn, that we consume the wicked, the evil ones. It's time for God, his great power. God must win now. I said he said he said he said, he said we give thanks, O Lord God Almighty, the one who is and who was and who is to come, because you have taken your great power and reign. God must reign. He is the owner of heaven and earth. He must reign and he must reign forever and ever. So nothing can stop his reign. So the wicked that is fighting him, the fake pastors, fake prophets, fake bishop that is fighting him, saying that he will not, he will not reign. They are the one that will be destroyed because it's time for him to destroy you that is destroying the beautiful earth. It's time for the for earth to give you double of all that you have been sowing, for all that you have been putting down, for all that you have been giving to giving to earth. It's time for 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 earth to give you. Hundred fruits of all that you have been doing. It's not even God. The earth will respond. The earth will give you what you deserve. What you sow, you will reap. So it's time for God. God said, and should destroy, and should destroy those who destroy the earth. There are so many people out there that is destroying the earth. There are many people out there that is destroying the earth, that is sowing evil seed, that is destroying the earth. There are so many people out there that their work is, they are doing the, the, the evil works, destroying the earth, destroying the, 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 the mankind, mankind, destroying the beautiful earth that God created. God created this earth. And when God finished designing it and creating, God said that everything was good. If you are the one that said that what God created is not good, that you want to damage it or, 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 or destroy it or to dent what God have done that uh, the, the great work that God himself did by designing and creating the whole world by himself. Nobody helped him. Nobody was there. He designed this beautiful world for his own children, for his own beautiful children to, 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 to enjoy, to live in it and enjoy it. And there are so many people out there from the, from the pit of hell that, that said that this world, that they don't want to see this world being being the way God said it, that they are out to destroy it. They are the one that watch out how they will pass away, like in the days of, of Noah. But this time around is fire that way, burn them and consume them. In a, in a broad noonday, the fire of a judgment will consume them. Take them away. The righteous, Bible said, Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit, inherit the earth. And Bible said that Blessed Bible says also that the earth is the laws and the fullness their love. So I want to tell you something now. Now get ready. The earth is about to give to every man and to every woman what you have been sowing. What you have been sowing, the earth will give it to you now double. It's time. Our God is a righteous judge. He's a right, a righteous judge. He can never give you evil or allow, allow evil to come to you when you are doing good, when you fear his name, when you love him and fear his name. So people that hate God, that do not fear him, what we soak them now is evil. But you that fear his name shall be the, 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 the heaven you will flow from his wings. You that fear the name of the Lord, you that fear the name of the Lord, I want to tell you something. Watch out and see what happens to you now. In the book of, I want to show you something now. You that fear the name of the Lord, just look at what will happen to you. You that fear the name of the Lord, the name of the Lord Most High. What will happen to you is what I want to show you now. Okay, this I want to read it for you now. As I'm as I'm doing the, the video, God Spirit bring it to me that I have to read it. He said, "For behold, the day is coming. For behold, the day is coming, burning like an oven." burning like an, an oven, and all the proud, yes, all who do wickedly, will be, st will, will be stumble, stumble, will be stumble, and the day which is coming shall burn them up, shall burn them up, says the Lord of hosts. 
that we leave them neither root nor branch. But to you who fear my name, the Son of Righteousness shall arise with hidden in his wings, and you shall go out and grow, and, and, and grow fat like stall-filled calves. You shall trample the wicked, you shall trample the wicked, for they shall be ashes under the sole of your feet on the day that I do this, says the Lord of hosts. So get ready, and if God is doing it, you have heard it, I've just given it to you what God said, the wicked is the one that will be destroyed. The earth abides forever. Let me show you something. Let me show you something also for you to understand that this earth abides forever. It's only the wicked that will be all that God always always destroy, always uproot. I want to show you so that you will know that doing good, that righteousness, the, the, the reward is great. Doing the right thing, doing the right thing. Bible said that. A sinner is rolling when no man, nobody is pursuing him. But a righteous man is as bold as a liar. So I want to show you something for you to understand that you have to do good. You have to crave for good. You have to cling to, to, to that, which is good. You have to love good. You have to do good. It pays to do good. It pays to do good. It pays. Forever, O oh Lord, forever, O oh Lord, your word is settled in heaven. Your faithfulness endures to all generations. You establish the earth and it abides. You establish Establish the earth and it abides. They, conti they continue this day according to your ordinances. They continue this day according to your ordinances. For all are your servants. Forever, O oh Lord. Can you see? Forever, O oh Lord, your word is settled in heaven. Let's say, you establish the earth and it abides. It abides. It is the wicked that we, that we leave the earth. It is the wicked that will be destroyed. The, 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 the children of God, God's, the righteous People, people that love God, that love our God, that fear his name, that love Jesus, will live forever. The earth belongs to you. The, the, the Bible says, blessed are the meek, for they shall have the earth. And yet, so the wicked that is, that is destroying the earth is what God said that they will be destroyed, that they are destroyed already. But you will dwell in earth, doing the right thing, putting your father's kingdom according in order, certain things, in place, dress and you know, dressing the, the earth, making it beautiful and glorious. All right, so I just say the way God said it to me, and God bless you, really good as you hear this word and as you love truth, love righteousness. So there's enough power and there's a, there's a great reward for doing the right thing, for loving our God, for fearing His name. 